broken. Uh, if you, oh, maybe I'm broken. If there's one that you can't reach, look down uh, and right click and hop out of it and sort of stand on the ladder. And that'll give you the extra reach you need to get up there. There we go. Finally made it. You guys find any iron? Not really. No? Not a lot of iron. Not a lot of coal. Uh, and uh, have a nice uh, stack of redstone. Uh, uh, why don't you come back to the central hub? I need uh, a few more of those mine carts. So I'm going to need some iron to uh, finish the elevator. Who are you talking to? Uh, you. Okay. Yeah, I could write a novel, like a Jane Austen novel in size, like the complete works of fucking just bitching about stupid people in World of Warcraft and all the experiences I <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I, I never, like a, you know this, I, I never played it long at all. Um, I just didn't want to deal with it. You just strike me as the type of person who'd be called a fag in trade chat and just go, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, that wouldn't do it. It was just, you know, I got bored with the game itself. Uh, knows about it. <clears throat> okay, here we are. What do you need? Just some iron. Let's see if I have any. Ah, yeah, I got some ore. I had uh, ten pieces. That's fine. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and smelt it. Put it in here. Got some lava. Uh, okay, cool. <clears throat> what about you, Serhan? Are there any nightmare stories about incompetent people in Lotro? Oh yeah, tons. I mean. <laughs> It's Lotro. Everyone's I mean, confident playing that game. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what everybody says about Warcraft, too, when you're on Lotro, right? You're over there, everybody tends to, you know, the most Yeah, which, which nerd dick is bigger? Right, exactly. So. Well, I noticed right away that the community was nicer in Lotro, because, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got insulted in... Okay, well, I mean, you won't get the reference. In the Valley of Trials, there were already people griefing me. It was ridiculous. I mean, the, the the WoW player base is amazing in this way. Yeah. I, I remember, I remember as a level 60, I used to try and sneak into the level 1 area and fucking kill people. Oh, yeah. And then they really, made the cards all level 60, and then you couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Well, really, Lotro is like any other... MMO, it's just like, it's about cooperation and people that can't follow instructions fuck it up for everybody else, and that's it. There's always that one or two people in the group that don't follow instructions, they don't listen to what the people are telling, they don't they don't use target assist, they don't do what they're supposed to do, and everybody dies. They get bitched at, and they get all indignant and quit, and fucking whine about how you were rude to them. And all. Eh, it's the same shit, no matter where you go, pretty much. I, uh, I played, what was the name of it? Um, Star Wars The Old Republic and I'm thinking oh this game will be great it's supposed to be you know back to the old style of Star Wars online MMO lots of story and shit like that played it the raids were like just super technical oh, yeah. and so yeah, yeah uh, and so it wasn't fun like the reason why it wasn't fun is because fucking the people were either so bad uh, fuck, the game crashed. The people were either so bad playing the game, or they, uh, what was I going to say? Or they, um, uh, just didn't pay attention at all and would get themselves killed and fuck everything up. Like, you would have, uh, fights in a four man where you had to, like, man a cannon. And fucking people had to defend you while you were using the cannon to get aggro and shit. And fucking big pain in the ass. Oh shit, I'm wasting it. Well, I mean, that's a rich man's problem. We had a raid where uh, 
there was a warrior who went. I mean, he was. It turns out he was 12, right? And he he. We have the ready check. I'm sure you have some. So I throw up the ready check, and he he answers in the affirmative. Yeah, you know, he gives a thumbs up, and then he goes to take a shit once the fighting actually starts. <laughs> I really had to go number two. Perfect. <laughs> Dude, I'm ready to shit my pants. <laughs> you know, I've I've had I've had what I call the unfortunate ready check, Ooh. where where you fuck. No, 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 nothing that bad. No, no, no. I found diamonds while I was getting lava. Sorry. Oh, nice. <laughs> but like where you say ready check, and then like your stomach turns over and you go, oh no. This is going to be the worst 10 minutes of my life. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love when the uh, raid leader set just tries to see who is actually on Ventrilo. And he says, okay, if you're on Vent, you can hear me. I'm going to throw up a ready check. If you're ready, say no. Say no, you're not ready. <laughs> and it's just either non-responses or people putting yes because they're just not actually listening. They just see the ready check window come up and answer yes, which is always uh, encouraging. Stone out here. Good, good. I think I might have made too many buckets, especially now that I need iron for uh, mine carts. Wait till you see this elevator, Sarah Han. Blow your mind. It's really useful as hell. How much iron do you need? Uh, let's see. Five per mine cart. Probably need maybe half a dozen mine carts. So about 30. I got one. Falling into it like eight fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to build a little walkway to it that leads along the water. Just use that point to uh, gather. As a matter of fact, I'll make a little balcony area so that you have to reach over. Now we'll get to see how truly stupid I am when I fall into it in like five minutes. Yeah, uh, when he first, uh, when he first, oh shit, oh, well, there you go. So you just fell into it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can hang out with you noobs, like, oh, it burns. <laughs> <laughs> the problem of expertise. It's easier to look like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, he when uh, Skep first said uh, that he was that he knew Minecraft, I said, "Oh well, how how well do you know it?" And he says, "Oh, I can build a clock out of redstone." I said, "Well, I don't know if we're gonna let you do it because you seem too competent. People want to laugh at a noob falling into lava." And he <laughs> says, "Oh, don't worry, I fall into things too." It's like, "Okay, so you can program redstone and you fall into shit like an idiot." Well, it seems like you're the whole package then. Yeah, yeah that was fucking funny. You're, you're the whole package of a mi uh, YouTube Minecrafter. That I do little sneaky things like I. Keep I'll, yeah, you'll see. So, let me, what do the mushroom cows eat, out of curiosity? Grain? Wheat. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, I'm getting cow raped. This is bad touch.
so what is it? Uh, chickens eat seeds, cows and uh, mushroom cows eat grain, and pigs eat uh, dead Minecraft players. Oh yeah, did you see that? Did we put that episode up yet? Yeah, we did. Someone didn't get the did. reference. Someone didn't get a reference to Hannibal? Yeah. Or, well, I guess the other reference for that is, uh, what is it? Uh, Snatch. Didn't see it. See, there's, yeah. always, a, there's always a movie you haven't seen. You didn't, didn't see, see Snatch? Snatch. That's nope. a great, that's a great flick. Yeah, they get, um, I forget the name of the, the, the gangster. Uh, Bricktop. Brick, yeah, Bricktop. Uh, Bricktop, he turns to these guys who are trying to get rid of a body, and he just strolls into their pawn shop, and they start freaking the fuck out. And he says, if you ever want to get rid of a body, make friends with a man who owns a pig farm. And he starts going into the logistics of how pigs eat dead flesh and how you get them to do it. It's fucking yeah, sick. How many pounds they can eat per minute. That sort of shit. Yeah. Did you guys see uh, The Devil's Ad... Well, not The Devil's Advocate. The Devil's Rejects. No. No, I, I saw the first part of it. I, I try not to watch Rob Zombie's movies because they're so disappointing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the first part of it, like, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. I was like, eh. I get it, and it's really weird, and I'm supposed to be shocked, but instead I'm really bored, so no thanks. It just made me think of the thing where he's talking about uh, fucking a chicken that's had its head cut off. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the fact that that man thinks about that sort of shit, or the fact he gets paid to think about that sort of shit. <laughs> psycho where he's just on a killing spree he kills the front desk attendant and then he goes to the revolving door thinks for a moment goes immediately back in through the revolving door and shoots the janitor <laughs> I, thought I thought the part where he dropped the chainsaw down the uh, the stairway on the prostitute yeah. that was fucking amazing you know it's yeah, funny when, cool. when you and I first talked I was watching that and I paused it and it was the the frame that was frozen on was Christian Bale laughing maniacally with blood all over his face as he had just scored this hit. And you know it's it, when you, it's like when you uh, throw something in a wastebasket and it lands in it in the first time. There's that yes moment, and that's the same expression he has on his face. He's like, yeah, I killed a prostitute by dropping a chainsaw on her. Yeah, awesome. except that look of that look of joy on his face is yeah. so much more sublime than. You know what I thought was bizarre about that movie, as far as the writing goes, was the business card thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they, what do you mean the, the business card um, thing? His obsession with how, with the quality of his business card. You remember? Oh, that, that? shit's that shit's for real. I'll tell yeah, you right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure it is, but it was just you know, I, you have no idea about that sort of shit. You don't think about anything like that if you're not a complete nut job, and then you kind of you're kind of forced know, to go. Do you know how much of the modern business world that? complete fucking nut jobs. Like, I recently left this one place, and the guy was like, we have square business cards. I said, why? He says, because they stick <laughs> out better. I said, yeah, they're also annoying as fuck, and I'd throw them in the trash as soon as it was given to me. <laughs> and he got, like, really offended. Like, he didn't want to talk to me anymore because of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that whole thing freaked me out a little bit. I was like, this guy is really into his business card. It's like that scene in Fight Club. Oh, shit. Can we get the icon in cauliflower blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I am running my ass off right now. Found some lava. Good for me. Let's see here. Keep you know, mind. you're you're going to end up getting in the habit of carrying a bucket of water around with you. <laughs> just to save your ass. Well, it looks like... I did this right by accident, of course, but I'm not going to die at this particular moment. Cool. Yeah, we drowned in lava pretty quick in the nether the other day. <laughs> Show. I showed up ten minutes later. Hey, what's that orange stuff? Oh, okay. <clears throat> he, I, I think like, atheism was in the middle of explaining to me 
how much lava there was there. He's like, there's a lot of lava here, so you're going to, okay, there it is, now we're fucked. The other thing you could worry about in the nether is the ghasts. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you, if you time it right and lag is in your favor, you can kill them with their own thing. Trying to figure out how to get to the cows from here so I can go stick the grain somewhere. What the hell is wrong with me? Like, I'm sitting here staring at this lava and I go right back to the fucking same place and start digging. So I was walking around. I finally got back up topside uh, at one point in time today. And I found this place that Shit. looked like a giant church with like a Cthulhu face on it. What the hell is that? Somebody built. It's also the church that Sarahan went to as a child, apparently. All right, we'll have to burn that shit down. It's made of stone. Oh wait, it has that golden bell. If we ever needed gold, we can go up and rob the church. Dude, I'm so down for robbing the church. Let's go right now. All right. Sarahan, you here? Yeah, I'm here. Where Where are you? I right, um, um, I'll I'll be out there in a second. Um, Give me a second. Uh, I'm just gonna go take a piss. I had to throw down some cobblestone to block this lava that I've created. Pretty soon there's going to be a whole uh, system of lava rivers down here, thanks to me. So. But I'm on my way out. Yeah, our gold supplies are pretty low. We need to we need to do some good old fashioned appropriation. I am at the entrance of the Moorcock Mines. Okay, cool. Over here. Did you find any more iron? Um, maybe. Let me have a look. Found a lot of shit, actually. Let's see. Here. Yeah, only four ore is all I got. Uh, hand, hand it over. Let's, uh... All right, I'm sick. almost finished with the up elevator. What do you see this? It'll blow your, blow your mind. Um, here you go. Alright. Man, lava bit. is such a good fuel. I left a uh, bucket of lava in here a couple of minutes ago, and it still has enough to cook four ingots of iron. <laughs> yeah, when I was building that uh, skyscraper structure, I had like uh, four ovens going at once with those buckets of lava you gave me. <laughs> I did, what was it, all of that iron I gave you at the beginning with a bucket of lava and then one piece of coal. Yeah. I mean, they, so, they, like, lava's excellent. Yeah, this is this is as much a game changer in ter terms of fuel economy as the, the charcoal update. I don't know if you played back in the day where uh, there was no charcoal and everything had to be, uh, coal was, uh, and fuel was not renewable. <clears throat> no. Well, when I played it was fucking, you put coal in. Like, I didn't know you could use lava. I find that out like today, I'm like, oh man, that changes the whole fucking game for me. I used to just run from that shit thinking it was only good for a city. <laughs> Felt like a dumbass immediately. All, right. oh, all the fun I had discovering Obsidian for the first time, that, that was fun. Alright, step in here. Now what you want to do, Skep already has used this. Yeah, I already know how this works. Yeah, step in here, sir. Mm -hmm. Stand right here, look straight up, and hold right click. Okay. A little laggy, so yeah, it might take a sec. 